Hi, everybody. All right, so we're continuing on a little bit of work with the fly LED system. Uh, I had to do a little bit of sanding around the edges of the plates, only because they may have been just a little bit out and sort of roughing up the wing lens. Once those are in place and the wing lens is holding them tight, then we just have to sort of shorten up the wiring a little bit. Well, actually, two things. One, the wiring is using antiquated, gigantic Molex connectors. We're going to switch those out for more streamlined ones. And two, we're going to shorten the wiring because we don't need it to be to be so long. I mean, it's always nice to make them extra long because you can always roll them up. But uh, sometimes even that's too long. All right, so you might be asking, why is there a video on Tuesday? Well, let's just say that there's going to be videos every day of the week. So from now until the plane is done, there's going to be video, oof, at least, I've been doing, what, one every other day, so three and a half a week. i gotta, I got to jump that up because there's too damn many of them. So expect, I don't know, five a week at least. The idea being, so I've uh, I've scheduled the inspection. It's going to be next month, and I don't want this to keep dragging on through you know August of like okay now here's this doing blah blah blah. No no no, I want this. I need this to end. <laughs> I love you all, but my God, I'm tired. I just want this plane built, and I want to fly it around. <laughs> Anyway, all right, so now we're working on fuel uh, fuel lines. Uh, remember, this is all high-pressure stuff. From now until I'm done, everything that I'm working on makes me nervous because I'm just waiting for the other shoe to drop constantly. I don't know why <clears throat> something inside. But uh, So if you see that S-curve, that piece of pipe that's sitting on top of the wing there past that uh, ratchet, that is the main line, that is the center line that goes from the bottom of the tank into the fuel system, uh, into the fuselage. So that is the connecting line that we have to make, or at least that's the first one. So each side gets one of those. It looks like an S-curve, but there's a little bit more to it than that. One, one bend is only 87 degrees, one bend is 89 degrees, and... That second bend also has like a three degree deflection off to the side. So it's actually like a three dimensional one. Now, feedback on doing this. Van sends you 3003 aluminum tubing. It's called VersaTube. I mean, it's definitely stiff, right? It definitely works, but everyone's like, yeah, you should use 5052. And that's what you see me working with here. 5052 is great problem is there's no play in it and some of these lines you need a little bit of play because if not to try to make them perfect um, is impossible so like this first one that I made so I made one the first one I made fit the left tank perfectly the first time like holy crap that's this is easy I'll just knock the other one out and be done with it yeah it doesn't work that way here I'm just trying to get the damn thing started and the the second line, so the one on the left tank fits perfectly. And again, these are mirrored, so you can't use the left one on the right one. You have to use them right separately. Uh, the, the one on the right wing, I think it took me like 12 tries. Not as easy as it looks. Again, these are A-in fittings, right? So they need to be within like one degree, or the flare won't fit. And the, it might fit, but it won't seal. <clears throat> and you'll know very quickly if it doesn't. All right. Thank you for joining me, everyone. Uh, just a heads up, you're going to be getting about five videos a week. I'm just saying. i got to catch up. So thank you for joining me. See you soon.